Start tonight with an issue impacting schools across the area. Several school districts are in need of bus drivers as the upcoming school year is just a week away. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Kelly Jackson. And I'm Brent Solomon. Right now, St. Louis Public Schools are looking for more drivers, and the district temporarily suspended some routes, as we first reported yesterday. Today, we've learned the Parkwood School District, or Parkway rather, is also facing a shortage. Let's get over to Five Intersides Mercedes McKay, who is live in Chesterfield. And Mercedes, what is the school district in Parkway doing to fix this problem? Brett and Kelly, as you can see, these buses are parked now, but come Monday, they'll be heading to pick up Parkway students for the start of the school year. Now, administrators told me they wanted to make sure there was enough drivers to fill those seats to take kids to school, so they had to make some changes. Pretty much we've been short bus drivers since the pandemic. It's a problem Parkway School District has dealt with for a while. We knew uh, by mid-year last year that we needed to do something strategic and better. That's why Chief Financial Officer Patty Bedborough says they created a transportation task force made up of not only school officials, but parents too. We came up with a plan that was very multifaceted. The plan reduced the number of bus routes, so starting in August, elementary students living within a mile of their school will no longer be able to ride the bus. The district did this by identifying neighborhood schools where it would be safe for students to walk to school. On top of that, they raised the pay for bus drivers and had parents complete a survey to opt in if their child needed a ride. With that information, we were able to completely um, redo all of our routes and make them as efficient as possible for this upcoming year. But it's not just a problem here in Chesterfield. For the most part, it's a statewide issue. I don't believe there's any real region of the state that's not been hit by this. Paul Ziegler with Education Plus says suburban districts are actually struggling more than rural schools. If you look at a, a big district, they may have, you know, 200 routes and having, you know, 200 drivers looks a little different than maybe having Six to eight. While no one has the perfect solution, some believe it may be a problem that's around for a while. I would certainly believe it will take uh, a long time if it ever really comes together to where it's not an issue. The Fox C6 school district also had to eliminate some bus routes as well. Now, the Winsville School District is actually having a job fair this weekend. One of the many positions they're trying to fill, you guessed it, bus drivers. So obviously, Brent and Kelly, this is just an issue everywhere right now. Live in Chesterfield, Mercedes McKay, five on your side.